Hello everyone, good Friday to you. Last trading day, so we will look at the, another interesting idea. Today will be the Swiss franc versus Japanese yen. And before we start, I would like to remind you all the information is purely for educational purpose only and should not be considered as a financial advice. Now, in regards to the Swiss franc, Japanese yen, we already had an idea which actually closed with the profit where target has been reached. But this is yet another idea because the overall strength of the Japanese yen is ongoing. So let's let's move back to some of our trades and we'll start with Canadian Japanese yen, which is also Japanese per strength uh, related. What we have, guys, is idea was to short at this at this level around 76.80. So the price did start to decline. So this, expect this long term. This is not something which will happen tomorrow or even next week, but this could be quite a rally here on the downside. So this is uh, complements our new idea of Swiss franc Japanese yen also complements this idea since it's all about the Japanese yen but also at some point some degree Canadian dollar as well so here we have um, a very strong rally uh, trade is in profit so going good now the next was uh, euro versus GBP here we had the idea to short at this level 87 80 80 88 yeah and well the stop loss would be uh, above if the if the daily close will manage to to be above this price so for today we had uh, up until now we had the spike above this daily close right there it was on 88.75 now in order for us to exit the trade you can see this quite a long so the risk reward ratio 2 to 1 is still on it's still good so if if today's candle will be closing above this level, the stop loss should be placed right at the at the highest point, just above the highest point. If the stop if the uh, candle will be closing below, we will still need to wait and see the close of the candle above this price, and this will be the exit signal. So for now, this trade is on. I still expect this really really strong uh, downtrend for this. Uh, pair now New Zealand Canadian. The original trade idea was the stop loss at this uh, this level. So this was the daily chart idea, and we saw the spikes here, and this is the key support for the New Zealand Canadian. The shorter trade we had actually was kicked out. The longer trade would be either uh, stop loss should have been placed at break even. So it all it closed at break even. Now here what we have. Is a potential another opportunity although uh, this has to be in relation to actually the very weak Canadian dollar which goes to uh, follow the oil prices and this is still very possible although uh, the probability here remains a bit lower than usual but still uh, this is the key level hard stop loss below this level it still can you can still try that because the risk reward here would be actually quite good if entering now. Now, dollar Canadian uh, has reached our target. It was pretty fast um, and the target has been reached. We overall made uh, about about over 200 pips profit on this trade. It was pretty fast with very minimal drawdown. So this trade is gone. Now, the next trade we had Euro Australian dollar. The euro Australian dollar is actually um, still yet uh, to go towards the target. I still expect the euro uh, to be weak overall along with the euro pound. So the stop loss is daily close above this price ideal and we're still waiting. The entry point was around this level. So we are in the drawdown here overall, but the trade is open still valid. Now back to our idea oh i would like also to tell you about uh, give you a little spoiler of the idea that we might have on monday this is actually pound versus swiss franc what i do expect this correctional move but it's a little too early for this i'm still waiting you can see now here what is happening is that pound swiss franc is forming a bearish divergence we can see already that uh, RCI is failing to go any lower 
although price went much much lower so this is very interesting idea here although i would probably wait for this break above the trend line and then early monday could be a very good entry here as well but this is just a spoiler we might have uh, more details on it uh, on monday so back to our idea is the swiss franc japanese yen we continue on that one what i do expect is once again price to move down towards this low because you can see here is a clearly a very strong support formed uh, around this air price area i think it might retest this support zone once again especially after this bounces of the 200 exponential moving average we can see bounce one and then we had a very very clean bounce here as well so this looks like a quite an interesting selling opportunities with the stop loss on the daily close above the high which is 111.03 uh, i think in the longer term and now on the shorter term if we look at the four hour chart i have applied fibs to this corrective wave clearly price broke all the fibs and then returned back and we had a clean rejection of this level besides we had the rejection of the um, both moving average simple and exponential two times in a row if it's not gonna go much lower here it should at least retest this support zone now we had the bearish divergence and i could expect potentially price even to retest the moving averages i can expect price to produce spike above this uh, level on the forward chart for this reason maybe it is the best to wait until monday and see what actually happens around this area where the price bounces the moving average or it will be bounce of the uh, resistance once again we need to see the closing price daily closing price below 136 this will be the good entry signal for the short if we look at the daily chart but early next week it should be quite interesting also if we see that price bouncing of any of these levels with the four on the four hour chart it also in the validates the the shorting opportunity here on this pair but for now there easily can be 12 hours of range trading around this resistance area and yeah it will be important to see what happens and so overall yeah it's a monday trade keep it on for monday opening because uh it's really risky to keep this one over the weekend so that's it for today i will see you mon on monday hopefully with the pound versus swiss franc idea we, s we will perhaps have more confirmations on there and i will give you more details about the trade itself have a good weekend stay healthy and if you like the video don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe for our channel take care and talk to you on monday